so excited to get this day started I'm here with Jojo and we're gonna have a fun time. It's Jojo, Jojo's World, welcome to Glen Exploration Travel. That's awesome. I'm definitely gonna do that. I did not do it on Icon. Oh man, this is beyond wild. Party zone, kids up. I am on board the inaugural sailing of Utopia of the Seas. I am so excited to be here. This ship already looks beautiful. I can't wait to show it to you. I hope you come along with me. We're gonna get this. to be here at Terminal 1, inaugural sailing of Utopia of the Seas. It is, uh, it, I, I, I think the thing is with me is that I love Oasis class ships and to be on the second sailing of Wonder of the Seas and the first sailing of Utopia is such a blessing. I'm so excited to get this day started. Here with Jojo and we're gonna have a fun time. Alright, we are through security, headed to check-in. Vacation mode starts now. Thank you very much. That is perhaps the cutest photo op I've ever seen for like a cruise. Like they have decked this place out. Like they're it's a big deal. I mean, second brand new cruise ship out of uh, Royal Caribbean this year. First icon, now Utopia, and and I'm here for it. going to the gangway to get on board. Uh, it's my favorite. There's no feeling like it. Jojo, I don't know if you're excited, but this is my favorite part of a cruise ship. Is getting on? Getting the, the embarkation, the excitement. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go, baby. I think what's unique about this cruise more than any other is that it's specifically designed for three and four night cruises. It's not a seven night ship. You have Wonder of the Seas, you have Icon of the Seas for stuff like that. Utopia is designed to be the world's perfect weekend. And it allows people to go to Disney, Universal in Orlando, drive over, and you still can do the cruise. You don't have to pick just one. And so I think it's actually genius for Royal to uh, to do this, and the ship already looks amazing. Hi. Hello. Great to see you all. Thank you. They gave us like a I don't know, like a like a necklace. It says you too, and then they've got uh, drinks for us too. Welcome drinks. Uh, thank you. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, it feels so good to be back on the, an Oasis class ship. You know, I, I have to say, I am kind of blown away right now at how just beautiful the ship is. I mean, it is totally sparkling new, obviously, but like, uh, I, now I'm like, I really wish I could stay here for longer than three days. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it is kind of cool looking. They pride themselves on art, so they do a good job of that. JoJo's already found his adoring fans. So I really need to go get uh, 
my card scan because I've already done the mustard drill online and uh, our mustard station is at the Royal Theater. So I need to get that done, get it over with, um, and then just explore. Rooms are already ready, which is great. I mean, that's pretty standard for inaugural cruises because they rarely, you know, have somebody on the, the day before. Um, and so, yeah, I'm excited to uh, drop my backpack off and uh, just start enjoying this amazing ship. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Quick and painless. That's the way I like it. Oh, uh, it's awesome. And I see Studio B. I'm already down here, so I might as well go check it out. Oh, and they have a non-smoking casino. How cool is that? Let's walk in here. I actually do like that there is a uh, non-smoking casino, but they don't have craps, so I don't really see myself in here, because I don't really place, place lots or anything. I could have like a food and drink station. That's cool. Oh, I've made it to Studio B. This is where they have the ice show and that you could actually do ice skating at certain times during the cruise as well, which is fun for you know those enthusiasts who love to get out on the ice, show them what you're made of and um, it's great for families, it's great for kids, kind of a fun experience. Very unique for a cruise ship to have an ice skating rink. All right, I got my entertainment books sitting in Studio B. That is one of the first things you want to do when you get on board. Connect to the Wi-Fi and then get on and start planning your cruise. It's tedious, but if you don't do it, you're going to miss out on opportunities to get shows you want, events, and so that's why I typically do first thing. So I've got the eye show books, I've got the aqua show books, comedy club, and um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the production show, but um, there's so many other events going on. I don't know if I can fit all of it in. Only a three night cruise, so I don't know but it's gonna be fun. Scooter Bar is pretty much in the same place on any Oasis class ship. But I forgot there's a Rising Tide Bar. I'm so excited. Wow, that's pretty. <laughs> nice to see that. It uh, looks like kind of chandeliers up there. Really, really cool looking. I'm gonna head out to the boardwalk. And look, oh, the horses. This is so great. I love the boardwalk. They have a carousel. This is where Playmakers is. There's Johnny Rockets. Um, the uh, Ultimate Abyss slide ends up here. Shops, and of course the Aqua Theater. I mean, it's such a unique place because it's like you're really like on an Atlantic City boardwalk. I mean, it's really, really cool. Well, it's tempting not to go eat Johnny Rockets right now. But I really need to go to the room and uh, put my stuff down, but I just kind of want to explore. It's one of these ships you just want to just walk everywhere. I'm going to do it after this. I'm going to go, I really just have to go up one deck, one deck seven this cruise, so I can hang out and start exploring after I get my uh, my bag out. I have to say, uh, there's like not a ton of changes on the boardwalk, considering, you know, like the top deck has got some big changes. Of course, the uh, promenade is different. There's a zooming window in Central Park, but the boardwalk remains pretty unchanged except for one big factor, is that Giovanni's has an outdoor seating area it takes the place of Wonderland, so you can overlook the boardwalk from Giovanni's now. That's pretty cool. Uh, the Zoltar machine, that's so cool. I never get it to work. Maybe since this is the brand new ship that I'll actually finally be able to do the Zoltar machine. Go back and look at some of my old uh, videos from uh, Harmony, Allure. I can never get that to work. I do like the uh skylight that's in the promenade gives you more open air feel um, 
which I think is brilliant because you, sometimes you kind of get lost in thinking that you're on a cruise ship on these Oasis class ships, but having that skylight reminds you, oh, there's an outside. They have the new elevators. You just put in what button you want and it tells you what elevator to go to. Brilliant. Best thing invented. These are already here. We got our key card. It's gonna be fun. As we enter the room, our desk is now on the left, and the uh, sofa is just to the right. The bed is close to the uh, sliding door, so that's a little bit different. And they gave us some uh, welcome water, which is really cool. And since this is the inaugural, they have given us some uh, cool swag, some nice hats, which is actually excellent because I did not bring my hat. So this is really cool. Um, they have a, an entertainment program for us, which is really, really cool. That's nice. That's a nice little treat. Yeah, we're going to have to split the bed. <laughs> Obviously, between uh, me and JoJo, but that shouldn't be a problem for our stateroom hosts. So it's a nice big bed. There is uh, ample closet space with some uh, cubbies and a, uh, a nice safe. There's also some drawers down below as well. And then over to the right, some more drawers. So there's a lot of storage, which is uh, interesting for a three and four night cruise. You don't really need to pack a ton, but you have the opportunity to if you need it. And then there is your uh, cooler. So that's pretty cool. Nice mirror chair. And then to the right of the couch, we have another nice uh, hanging area. Store some bags in there as well. You can also store your bags under the bed. Here we have the bathroom, which is uh, pretty standard. Um, looks like the large the size of the shower, maybe just a, a little bit. And we have a balcony. So uh, it's a nice size, pretty deep balcony that has a uh, footrest. Oh man, it's so nice to be out here on the pool deck on Utopia. Very orange and thick vibe, but I like it. You've got the perfect storm water slides. You've got the uh, lime and coconut bars. You've got sprinkles, which is like a whole ice cream place. And then tons of pools. One thing I really, really like that's brand new on Utopia is the food truck that's set up uh, outside of uh, one of the main pools. That is brilliant. I love it. Let's go check it out. So they've got a veggie wrap, chipotle chicken sandwich, a Mediterranean veggie wrap, and cheese and pepperoni tornado, raspberry cheesecake chimney, and a ranchero beef and cheese tray. That sounds cool, but what I really want is a logo fresh. I'm going to check out the wind jammer, but I really have been craving a uh, burrito from El Loco Fresh. So that's my first stop to getting something to eat. I gotta have one. I wasn't sure I was gonna do this, but I'm really excited that I am. Get some uh, chicken, put in a tortilla, grab one of the pre-made burritos. Oh, it's so amazing. Uh, cheese and uh, chips. And then they also have like a toppings bar that you can uh, put on your uh, taco as well. I could eat 
a loco fresh every meal. I love it. And I don't have a drink yet because it's hot. I'm trying to stay hydrated. But that will come too. Chicken burrito, I think it's the best thing here. This thing, I mean look, it's hot, it's fresh, and it is flat out amazing. I love it. Here at Del Loco Fresh, you guys want to introduce yourselves? Oh yeah, my name's Gary. Go you too. <laughs> my name, my name's Avery. Go LSU, LSU Tigers, baby. Go Tigers. No, no, no. no. Go LSU. Go LSU. Go LSU. Go LSU. Go LSU. We're the best college in the nation. <laughs> Come on, Aggie. College in the nation. SEC. Yes, we, we can respect SEC. We can respect SEC. I'm an Aggie, so I mean, okay, okay. I, I have SEC on top. SEC. Nobody doesn't like the SEC. Thank Nobody you. does like that. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you. Oh, that was so good. Nice to meet you guys, Garrett, Avery. Um, really, really good time meet, talking to you guys. So I'm at the, I'm assuming it's called the Utopia Dunes. It's pretty much called that on pretty much every shit, but it's the putt putt course. Um, and then there is a, a kids play area, playscape, that is uh, on the rear of the ship where on some ships has two surf simulators, but they've replaced it with a, a kids playground, which is pretty cool. The uh, playscape is so new, they're still working on it. So. It's uh, currently closed, but I'm sure that uh, it'll be open at some point on this particular cruise. Kids will have a, a fun time. And of course, they have the Ultimate Abyss, which is on every Oasis class ship, except for Allure currently, but it will be added most likely um, and it's refurb in 2025. But uh, to dry slide, you get on a mat, you go down. Um, it's, honestly, it's 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 fun. It's not my favorite must do, but um, it really they really upped the game here on this ship. It actually goes a little faster, so I may probably need to try that out so that uh, I can you know maybe get a little more of an exhilarating experience. Because usually what happens to me is I kind of just kind of just go slow. <laughs> so uh, I'll try it. Also back here is um, the Wipeout Bar, and new to Utopia, they have shaved ice, so that's pretty cool. I know uh, Lulu would love that. In port with us today, we have the Disney Dream, a beautiful Disney ship, and also in port is the Adventure of the Seas. I've been on both of those ships. Um, go back watch the uh, videos from those had a great time on both but um, such a beautiful day but it's also really hot out here ready to sail away start getting the wind moving a little bit so of course it would not be a Royal Caribbean ship without a flow rider and there is definitely one here on Utopia Also, a zip line on Utopia of the Seas as well. Definitely be doing that at some point. It's not terrible. I mean, if you're afraid of heights, it, it's a very short zip line, but it's a lot of fun. Well, and there's also a sports court. They play basketball, uh, they'll do pickleball out there occasionally, and um, great opportunity to uh, get out, enjoy the outdoor activities as well. So the teenagers have their own place to hang out on the cruise as well. They got beanbag chairs, lots of games, activities, um, just exclusively for teenagers. Time to washy washy. Check out the wind jammer. Hello, washy, washy. how are you? Come to our biggest weekend. Washy washy. Washy washy for yummy yummy. I love about the Windjammer on this ship and on Wonder of the Seas is that they have made it wide open. There's no crowds, plenty of seating, and a ton of options for food. And as it's the inaugural, usually the buffet has simply amazing choices that you wouldn't get all the time. 
steak. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, I know I just ate, but all this food just looks fantastic. That's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> Hey, about pasta station, that mac and cheese looks really good. Look at those coffee machines, I've never seen anything like that. You can add milk, you can add half and half, decaf, that's really cool. So there's tons of seating here, but the best thing is you go in the back. It's quieter, you can almost always find a table. It's kind of the secret hidden gym. That's crazy. I'm getting some lemonade. It's like a touch. Oh, that's good lemonade. Well, I've came, I saw, I don't think I want to eat again because Jojo and I have hibachi tonight and I want to be good and hungry because it's one of my favorite things to, to do on a cruise ship is eat hibachi. So I don't want to be like so full that I can't eat. So I'm going to forgo the windjammer for today. Making its return is Splash Away Bay. It's the splash area for the uh, kiddos. It's got slides, it's got a uh, dump bucket. Water is flowing everywhere. So they have the view bar just outside the solarium, which has, you guessed it, an amazing view. It's gonna be fantastic. And a very nice place to grab a drink unwind and take in the breathtaking views. I think I may actually get a, my first drink of the day. They have a pineapple guava sangria that I may have to try. Oh, I got my uh, pineapple guava sangria. Mm, that's nice. It's refreshing. I like it. I'm heading into the solarium. The solarium is adults only and is fully enclosed so you can get the uh, sunlight but you don't have to deal with any weather conditions. Tons of seating. Um, they still have some pools. Um, it's, it's a much more relaxed, chill vibe than the uh, chaos that kind of goes on outside and it's not near as hot because it feels actually quite nice in here. So I wanted to come in and check out the uh, Solarium Bistro, which also has some different offerings that you would find in the uh, Windjammer. Still buffet style, but it all looks great. Even shrimp cocktail and lobster. Nice. Oh, why did I book hibachi for the first night? Oh, I could eat so much right now. I want to go check out Adventure Ocean. First day is the best place to do that. And they have an escape room here as well. So Adventure Ocean is complimentary and has things from ages six months at AO Babies up until like 12. So ton of uh, activities for kids. They also have a play place where families can just go watch their kids just kind of play. It's mainly for the smaller kids, but um, the kids really do enjoy it. They also do a lot of activities here. So areas like the workshop, the AO theater, they do special events and uh, even some like hands-on um, kind of stuff as well, which is really cool. So it's, they're not, not just running around wild, they actually have organized activities. Check this out. This is the AO Juniors area for three to five year olds. Holy cow, this is so cute. My girls would have loved this when they were this age. AO Babies is for ages 6 months to 36 months. AO Babies costs $6 an hour in the day, but that goes up to $8 an hour after 6 p.m. Um, but still, that's not bad. I mean, that, that is truly cheaper than any babysitter that you're going to find at home. They were doing activities um, in the bigger kids area. I'll have to come back during an open house to see that. 
um, for the six to 12 year olds. Adventure Ocean is free up until 10 p.m. and I believe the cost goes up to $10 an hour after that. So that's, that's a pretty good deal. So I'm in Central Park and I think this area has changed quite a bit. First of all, Izumi Sushi and Abachi has moved to Central Park. They have Izumi in the park, which has like a to-go sushi window, which I love. They also have that on Icon. And then you have 150 Central Park, Chops Grill, um, which are usually located in Central Park. And I love 150. I don't think I'm gonna have it on this cruise but it's one of my favorite specialty dining restaurants ever. Sushi in the Park, I think, is a brilliant idea. It's the perfect place for Izumi, and to come grab some sushi or pork dumpling, something like that, and they're open until 10 o'clock at night, so it's even open for like late night stuff. That's awesome, I'm definitely gonna do that. I did not do it on Icon, but I am making a point to have some sushi in Central Park. Central Park is also home to thousands of live plants and it's one of those serene places on any cruise ship that you'll find anywhere so many plants the green lush environment and then of course as the plants mature over time they're going to grow up and it's going to even be more lush which is going to be beautiful They also have Park Cafe, which has some uh, fun items, like especially in the morning, like bagels. I love their bagels for breakfast. Um, it's usually my go-to. Um, but they also have paninis for lunch. They're not open for dinner, but it's all complimentary here. Oh man, that uh, pineapple upside down cake looks amazing. Wow. I have to come back and get that. Trellis bar in the center of Central Park. Lots of fun cocktails, beverages, wine, um, even some zero proof cocktails as well. Um, get you a drink and just relax in this beautiful garden on a cruise ship. Got me a, tr a uh, tropical sangria at the Trellis bar. Ooh, that's nice. It's kind of like juice though. Maybe a little sweet. I just, I don't know why I keep forgetting. Maybe it's because I haven't been on an Oasis class ship in over a year. But it's the Rising Tide Bar, my favorite. I love it. It goes from the eight, deck eight here in Central Park down to the Royal Promenade deck five, and you can ride it up. It's so awesome. I'm headed into the music hall. This is where they'll have live bands such as Phoenix, which is a popular Royal Caribbean um, live music act. They play a lot of great covers. Um, and uh, they also do some uh, silent discos in here, other game shows. Um, it's two story, really cool. They also have a uh, pool table up here. Who knew? Jojo and I have come up to the top deck, see what's going on up here, get a drink, enjoy the vibe. Yes sir, yes sir. Oh. Hey, how you doing? Good, good. <laughs> hey guys, I'm sure you know who this is, but this is Jojo, Jojo's World. Welcome to Glen Exploration Travel. Thanks. I mean, I guess you were on it, on an icon, yeah. kinda, but... Yeah, but now we're, now we're friends before the cruise. That's true. Yeah. I'm having you on cruises. It's nice. You're always making new friends. Always making new friends. Things have quieted down just a bit before the uh, the deck party, sail away party starts. So JoJo and I are going to grab a quick drink, just kind of hang out, and uh, get ready for sail away, which I think is about 30 minutes away. <laughs>
this party right now. Oh man, this is beyond wild. Not what I expected for a World Championship, but it is a good time. Well, off in the distance, Adventure of the Seas is taking off. I'm assuming we will be next in line to get out of here. It's weird seeing that ship on this ship, but it's cool. I mean, it's a fun ship. I love Adventure of the Seas. I had a blast on that ship. We had a sweet. It was so fun. We have come into the uh, solarium to uh, check out the sail away. So excited to be on this cruise. Beautiful ocean waters out ahead of us. Heading to the Bahamas. Oh, and a perfect day tomorrow. We have been hanging out in the uh, solarium, uh, just talking to a great couple um, and their daughter and just having just a chill time. And uh, now, I believe we're headed to Pesky Parrot? Not sure. We are in the promenade heading to the Pesky Parrot. Kyle and Casey decided to uh, take the stairs and Jojo and I took the easy way out and took the elevator. Oh, the shop's open. Oh, I gotta get my ship model. Lemon, orange, and pineapple juices, grenadine, and bitters. I've got to try this sucker. Ooh, that's good. Look at my face, it's just like purple. That's nice. It's a little sweeter than I had wanted, but it's still very good. This place is awesome. I really love how they've incorporated like the screens to make it look like windows. They've got dollar bills hanging from the ceiling. Like this is legit. Like one of the coolest bars I've been to on a Royal Caribbean ship. All right, I think that is going to do it for this video. I may do tonight's activities in another video in a honorable sailing of Utopia of the Seas. Like, it is so awesome to be here. So, I hope you stick around. Make sure you subscribe so that you see the next video of things that are going to happen tonight. It's going to be wild. Let's just say there's going to be a frat party. And it's going to be amazing. We have a Zoom E tonight, so you don't want to miss that video. So subscribe right now so that you catch that video when it comes out. Thank you so much for watching. I really, truly appreciate um, everyone who said hi to me on this ship. And if you ever do see me on a cruise ship, please come say hi. 